ranking the best defensive ends in Madden 25. And boys, we are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the defensive end position. Before we get into today's video, I do want to talk about our sponsor real quick, MMOEXP.com. If you guys want an alternative to buying packs, consider buying coins at MMOEXP and make sure to use code DILLA checkout for 5% off your order. Now, today, I'm actually really excited to update our first tier list after Zero Chill to really show like how I think Zero Chill changed the game. And defensive end is a spot where we have like almost 30 cards to go over ton of new ones in the game and for me i think it's pretty simple i think everyone needs to come down two tiers and this is what the tier list would look like but we're going to change a couple of things first off i think reggie white with that unstoppable force still a tier value for me i debated gas now with that one ap double or nothing or the potential blitz x factor like i think reggie white is better than this card and really besides that and really besides that i like where the list is at and now we're going to get into the new cards where well, we're going to go ahead and start off with some upgradable cards right here and the first one we got is montez sweat and montez sweat starts off at an 84 overall you can upgrade this card with snow and just literally if we don't go over a single stat this card has s tier value because he gives plus one speed and plus one two offensive stats to all the zero chill and football as family players which is crazy you should have as many zero chill players on the field as possible and this card has 92 speed 92 acceleration but with himself and also david and joku he could be up to 94 speed as an edge rusher and also he gets a little bit more finesse moves a little bit more power moves so it really isn't even bad power moves at that point uh 90 block shed 83 impact blocking and for traits bull rush and swim move on yes and the craziest thing on the card though is his fifth ability bucket where he gets all this for zero edge threat for zero secure tacklers nice i mean defensive rally bogo run stopper unpredictable like getting zero ap abilities that are on every single play now his value after like january i believe 9th will change but that is a whole month from now and we're gonna have a whole nother update where he's still gonna have a zero ap ability so easily in the s tier in my opinion don't even think it's close and we're gonna go ahead and keep the theme right here with some upgradable cards we got nick bosa season pass card and this card can be upgraded all the way to a 94 88 speed 94 acceleration with good finesse moves power moves block shit impact blocking like from a core rating standpoint not bad also has really good traits all three pass rush traits on yes and this time abilities on the card of course doesn't get anything for zero but he can potentially get the double or nothing and we are ranking him based on his 94 i believe you can get him up to the 93 right now and honestly i think all these cards the field pass cards got a lot worse because of how good zero chill is and for me this card just given the state of the game i think he's a b tier rusher i think for the most part b tier is just full of guys that have really good like core ratings they just aren't quite a tier because of abilities now and again keeping the theme of upgradable cards right here we're going to cover stocking stuff for calais campbell now honestly this card from his 87 to his uh 93 like yes he gets a lot better at the 93 but i still think he has the same value let me explain so we'll rank him based on the 93 has 87 speed 80 acceleration good power moves block shit impact blocking the finesse moves aren't bad either and has all three pass rush traits on yes um traits won't change but at the 87 80 speed 76 excel and then it's like like not really great pass rush but i think this card makes up for it because of the fact that he can go ahead again what did we talk about zero ap abilities and he gets it in this tier two bucket right here where things i like i mean unpredictable for zero i think that's cool i mean no outsiders for zero um goal line stuff for zero is interesting because this card doesn't necessarily have to be a starter for you like for instance okay 87 overall Calais Campbell this card on the market is going for around 43k would you pay 43k for a situational like goal line run stuffing player I feel like that's not bad value at all and this card again doesn't necessarily have to play like an every down player but I think Calais Campbell I think he's just an A tier card like I don't think he's S tier because of like Montez what I think like wipes him but I think he has A tier value and it might not be an every down player but then again he gets unpredictable for zero he gets no outsiders for zero he gets a ton of things that I really really like and I think that's what puts him over the B tier guys all right now we're taking a break from the upgradable cards we got Dietrich Wise right here that has 81 speed 87 acceleration 85 power moves is pretty solid 83 block shit eight, uh, 92 impact blocking with 72 finesse moves and this is a card that has the bull rush and swim move trade on yes means he's gonna use both of these uh ratings right here and of course Dietrich wise doesn't get any discount abilities or anything I think this card was someone that maybe could be like argued like C tier before but I'm gonna go ahead and place this card in the D tier after that we get Zadarius Smith who has 85 speed 88 acceleration with pretty good power moves decent finesse moves good block shake good impact blocking and first traits bull rush and swim on yes I think this is a tier better than the card we just covered Zadarius Smith is gonna be C for me now a slight little run team builders Charles Snowden is six foot seven 87 speed 90 acceleration with 87 finesse moves 80 power moves 
really high impact blocking in for his traits. Only the swim move trait on yes, meaning he's only going to use his finesse move rating, will not use power moves, which is really nice. And I think that helps the card. I think he is, again, just a C tier player, though. I don't quite think he's on this B tier level. We get a teeter right here from the Chargers, 6'4, 320. So more like a defensive tackle, 77 speed, 81 acceleration with 90 power moves, 80 finesse moves, 90 block shed, 90 impact blocking in for his traits. Bull rush and swim move on yes. The finesse moves are slightly lower, but I think this card belongs like right by uh, 88 Leonard Williams. I'm going to place him in the C tier. We also get Josh Pascal that has 86 speed, 90 acceleration with really low finesse moves, but high power moves, good block check, good impact blocking and for trade. Bull rush and swim move on yes, meaning he's going to use that lower finesse moves. I think for that reason, Josh Pascal is someone in the D tier for me. We get Larry Ogunjobi right here that has 82 speed, 84 acceleration. He's 6 foot 3, 305. So another potential defensive tackle. 90 power moves, 86 block shed, 97 impact blocking and for traits. Bull rush and swim move on yes. I think this card's a little bit worse than uh, Otito from the Chargers. I'm also going to place him in the D tier. Demarcus Walker this time has 86 speed, 85 acceleration with 91 finesse moves, 82 power moves, 88 block shed, 91 impact blocking and for traits. Only the finesse moves on yes, meaning he's not going to use power moves. Demarcus Walker is going to be someone that also is in the C tier for me. Then we get our last team builder right here. We get Rakeem right here. That is 6'2", 307. So another potential defensive tackle. Uh, 77 speed, 80 acceleration with decent power moves, lower finesse moves, good block check, good impact blocking for his traits. All three pass rush traits on yes. I think that hurts this card. I'm going to go ahead and place him also in the D tier. After that, we get the much chance reward, Nolan Smith. And this is a card that is 6'2", 238, 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 92 agility, 91 change direction. Like this is the main reason you would run Nolan Smith. 90 finesse moves is also good, but the block shed, the power moves are low. Same with the impact blocking, uh, bull rush and swim move on yes, meaning he's going to use that power move rating. And Nolan Smith this time from an ability standpoint doesn't get anything for zero or anything crazy. But I think this Nolan Smith card, I think he was potentially like A before, but now I think he's just like, again, top into this B tier, really good, like core rating physical stats. I don't think he gives you the same value as like Clayus Campbell or Reggie White with their abilities. We also get John Franklin Myers, and this card has 83 speed, 89 acceleration with low power moves and not really high finesse moves either. 89 block shed, 93 impact blocking and first traits, bull rush and swim move on yes. I don't know if this is a hot take. I don't know how this card's a 91. Like, look at all the ratings. The only thing that's like at a 91 or above is tackling and impact blocking. I think there's no point to use this card. I'm going to place John Franklin Myers in the F tier. After that, we get 91 overall JJ Watt, JJ Swat. We're going to cover both of his cards back to back. Um, the 91 has 87 speed, 91 acceleration with 90 power moves, 88 finesse moves, decent block shed, decent impact blocking for traits, all three pass rush traits on yes. Now, the biggest thing on JJ Watt though is, is his AKA X factors and he can get lurk artists for one, extra to leave for two. I think he was a potential A tier card before but now i think he's just along the lines like another b tier pass rusher and i think you can debate placement now the other jj watt the the aka the 92 the milkman one this card does have lower finesse moves but that doesn't really matter 89 speed 93 excel um this card has all three pass rush traits on yes for his x factors i mean unstoppable force for three at dt i think is amazing but also i think the lurk artist for zero is crazy like d line picks in this game are super popular and I think this card getting that Lurk Artist for zero, playing him at defensive tackle, I think this is a potential S tier card in the game because of that. And I'm going to keep him in the S tier. I think that Lurk Artist for zero is what puts him here. If you're just running Unstoppable Force, I'd probably go Reggie White and him on the same level. But that Lurk Artist for zero, I think it's so good in like heavy pressure defenses, which three, four odd pinch bucko, one of the most popular defenses you'll play. Mid Blitz is still pretty popular. Like there is a ton of defenses where people are sending basically their entire team at you and throw out a sacks. D-line picks. That's what JJ Watt, the, the value he gives you. Now, right after that, we get 92 Trey Hendrickson. And this card is six foot four, 270, 87 speed, 94 acceleration with pretty high finesse moves, good power moves, good block check, good impact blocking and for traits. Only the finesse move traits on yes. So he's only going to use those finesse move ratings. And for me, Trey Hendrickson is actually going to make me do something. I want Trey Hendrickson to be B. And I'm going to drop down uh, Jason Taylor into C uh, just because of the fact that, I mean, Jason Taylor, like he also, if we go ahead and pull up the card, right? I feel like there, there may be a little bit of gap in this B tier between cards. And I mean, he's kind of just worse Trey Hendrickson because again, he's only going to use finesse moves and I think he's just lower rated everywhere. And now right after that, we get 92 Chris Long that has 87 speed, 90 acceleration with 87 finesse moves, 92 power moves, 88 block shed, 90 impact blocking on this card. And he has the bull rush and the spin move trade on yes. So again, solid core ratings across the board and the 92 doesn't really get anything crazy from like an X factor standpoint or abilities. Like he gets some good base abilities. For that reason, again, just good core rating 
ratings gonna be in the B tier for me. Now the 93 is kind of interesting. 88 speed, 91 acceleration, 88 finesse moves, 93 power moves. Again, the stats is it's basically like for me like just like like plus ones, right? Like it is. But the thing this card gets on his other card is he does get a discount ability bucket. He gets no outsiders for one, which I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like I, I'm just gonna place them on the same level because I don't think he gets that much better compared to his his 92. And I don't think no outsiders, like Clayus Campbell gets no outsiders for zero. Yeah, I'm cool with Chris Long being in the B tier. Now, Chris Long is better core ratings than Clayus Campbell, but the zero AP ability compared to the one AP ability, give me zero AP. After that, we get Quiddy Pay, and Quiddy Pay has 89 speed, 94 acceleration with good power moves, lower finesse moves, good block shed, good impact blocking for traits. Only the bull rush move on, yes, meaning he's only gonna use that power move rating, will not use finesse moves. And for that reason, uh, Quiddy Pay is going to be someone that, again, good core ratings in the B tier for me. After that, we get Michael Strahan, and Michael Strahan has 82 speed, 91 acceleration, good finesse moves, good power moves, good block check, good impact blocking for trade, bull rush, and swim move on yes. And again, this card does not get any discounted abilities or anything. Uh, for me, Michael Strahan, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but this is another card that I think is just in the B tier. And right after that, we get Cameron Hayward, zero chill card. This card has 87 speed, 80 acceleration with really high power moves, lower finesse moves but great block shed great impact blocking for traits only the bull rush move on yes meaning he's only going to use that power move rating will not use the 82 finesse moves but biggest thing on cam hayward is the fact that he also like montez sweat gets that zero ap bucket where he can get double or nothing which i think that is insane um also zero ap inside stuff's really nice i think one of those two abilities is what you should run on him and for that reason cameron hayward is someone that is easily making this s tier for me and i think he is the best defensive end in the game because of that we also get 94 leonard williams and this card has 83 speed 91 acceleration with great power moves lower finesse moves but great block check great impact blocking and for traits only the bull rush move on yes i think he's just literally tier better than his 88 like gets a little bit more speed gets a little bit more excel but main strength is again just the power moves being on yes another card placing in the b tier and ended off the video right here we got team diamonds uh first one's gonna be jack youngblood 92 85 speed 90 acceleration with good power moves good finesse moves good block shed really low impact blocking though and for traits bull rush and swim move on yes these cards don't get discount abilities the 92 is also going to be someone in the b tier for me 95 jack youngblood 87 speed 92 acceleration again really good pass rush low impact blocking so same weakness and the traits are going to be the same but this time these cards of course get discounts where he gets el toro for one secure tackler for one i think before i maybe could have made the argument that jack youngblood like a i don't think he's on reggie water clay's campbell level i'm literally going to place him right by his 92 we also get bruce smith with 87 speed 85 acceleration with 90 finesse moves, 90 power moves, 90 block shed, 90 impact blocking. Like the core rating, phenomenal on this card. And you're going to notice the 95 is the exact same way with even better core ratings. And Bruce Smith for me this time, he gets run stopper unpredictable for one. I don't mind these abilities. I I'm going to slightly place 95 Bruce Smith in this A tier, but the 92 is going to be someone that does just make the B tier for me. And I think you can debate placement throughout this B tier. We'll also get Ozu Manura right here. And this card is six foot three, 255, 87 speed, 92 acceleration with 90 finesse moves, 85 power moves, 90 block shed, 88 impact blocking for traits. Only the finesse moves on yes, so he's only going to use 92 finesse moves. And that's going to hold true for his 95 as well, where you're going to see more speed, more excel, more finesse moves, more block shed, more impact blocking, which is nice. But Ozi Yumanura this time for uh, his abilities, discounts, defensive rally, instant rebate. I mean, defensive rally for one, I don't hate. Like, I don't. The 92, though, is going to be someone that I, I just go ahead and slightly place in the B tier, but I'll place the 95 OCU Manjura in the A tier. And you know what? Since, like, these cards, like, these cards are in a weird spot for me. I think Chris Long, Jack uh, Youngblood, and Mark Gass now, I can move them up. I'm cool with that. Um, they all get a little bit of interesting stuff for uh, one AP. These cards have better ratings than Clay's Campbell, but he does get the zero AP ability. So I don't hate this. Like I'm, I'm cool with this. Finally right here though, we get Julius Peppers with 93 speed, 94 Excel, 95 finesse moves, 91 power moves, 94 block shed, 95 impact blocking and gets all 32 team cam. So it could be 95 speed on a theme team and Julius Peppers this time abilities. Of course he does get discounts. Edge threat for one AP, no outsiders for zero. I, I like this. I mean, you could do edge shred double or nothing for four, which is kind of interesting. Like it, it can get you some crazy sheds. And for that reason, Julius Peppers is going to be someone that is in the S tier. I kind of think he does what Clayus Campbell does with the zero AP, no outsiders, just better. Uh, again, better Chris Long as well. Now I will say, I think Cameron Hayward and Montez Sweat are the two best, but yeah, I think zero chill changed this a lot, a lot. So like Julius Peppers and JJ Watt were kind of by themselves in S tier and the 95s were like right there, but 
yeah, super interesting list today. I hope you guys did enjoy the video today, man. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Madden 25 Ultimate Team content just like this. Now, if you guys do want to go and see me use these cards live on stream, have been streaming here on both YouTube and Twitch to watch on YouTube, make sure to hit that noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you guys want to watch on the Twitch, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with a follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here.